I'll say good morning. Today is Saturday. Welcome to the weekend. It is the 11th of November and it's 8 a.m. as I am speaking. A lot to talk about today. Uh, I'm going to spend a little bit of time on current conditions, but talk more about the weekend, scattered showers, not a washout, uh, not raining all the time. Um, Tuesday through Wednesday, I mean, sorry, Monday through Wednesday, chance of heavy rain. Um, especially depending on what happens with our potential tropical storm off the coast of Nicaragua. Um, and actually, the quicker it forms, the better it is for us, because that could mean less rain for us, and we'll talk a little bit about that. And then I'm very excited to talk about the end of next week into the weekend and the possibility of some cooler weather without a lot of clouds. We never, almost never get this here, but... Uh, We'll talk a little bit about that as we get going. But let's start with our current conditions. And I am very excited to welcome the Strines, who have set up, along with the help of Ms. Liz, a uh, weather station near Camp Bay. Two and a half inches of rain this morning. We've been pretty rainy over uh, in my neck of the woods, an inch to an inch and a half. Um, and then as we go west, a little bit less this morning, quarter of an inch or so. And then over in Utila, hardly any rain. So they've been uh, outside of the rain pocket this morning. You can see there's our little storm over Roatan. It's given us our rain. There's a little rain uh, over to our east that we might have to deal with this morning. Um, other than that, not a whole lot of rain. So we're thinking a little less rain this afternoon, if we can make it through this morning. Let's talk about our potential tropical storm. Here's our watch box. 30% chance of formation through uh, seven days. And you'll notice the forecast uses the word gradual development while it meanders. So there's not a lot of certainty that this is going to form and quickly move. The GFS has been forming this for a week now. And um, it has not happened the way the GFS has forecast. It still thinks it's going to form fairly quickly and move northeast. That would be good for us because it would mean less rain Monday through Wednesday. But most of the other uh, models say it's going to kind of sit off the coast of Nicaragua and throw rain over the top at us, especially Monday through Wednesday, which could mean some pretty heavy rain during that time period. Uh, before it finally forms and moves northeast, especially because we have a lot of ridging over the top. Uh, we consistently have these cold fronts coming down, and that's creating some resistance to any sort of storm and eventually should push it to the northeast. So let's talk about first the GFS, um, which has been lying to us for a week, but it's been right in the sense that it said there's something here. And it picked up on that even before the other uh, models did. So as we go through today, you can see we're kind of half in the rain and half not in the rain through the weekend. As we get into Monday, that's when it's really starting to pick up on this low pressure forming. And it even kind of forms it on the coast. You can see it moving inland there a little bit on the coast of Nicaragua. I think that's why this little watch box has that little piece of land in, in Mosquitia highlighted. And so, and then it forms it on Wednesday. And you can see as we get into Wednesday and Thursday, it really pulls the rain in into it and pulls northerly winds behind it, along with a bit of a cold front. Um, and as we get into the weekend and next week, look how clear it is for us. That would be beautiful. The Euro, um, again, we have the rain this weekend. Um, getting, We have a little pocket of dry air coming tonight and tomorrow morning. So I think, I think tonight and tomorrow morning should be okay. Um, but then the rain comes back for Sunday evening into Monday. And then uh, the Euro is really, you know, keeping the low pressure. You can kind of see it down here, just kind of meandering, to use the National Hurricane Center's word, in off the coast of Nicaragua. And especially on Wednesday, you can see, or Tuesday night, you can see some really heavy rain coming over us into Wednesday. 
And then Thursday, we start to see some circulation, but we also see this cold front passing through on Saturday, which eventually just kind of forces this guy to move to the east. And the icon also very similar. We see the low pressure down here as we get into Sunday night. Tuesday and Wednesday, heavy rain here. He's still there on Wednesday, still there on Thursday. Ah, here comes our front, washing us clean and nudging this guy back to the east. So chances are good Monday through Wednesday, we'll get some heavy rain. Unless this forms like the GFS says, then we'll have less rain. So we're kind of almost rooting for a tropical storm here because it'll mean better weather for us. The Euro, let's, this is rainfall through Wednesday. Uh, we're in the reds, which is about four inches of rain for the Euro. Um, the GFS in contrast is predicting the formation of this tropical storm, which is bad news for the coast of uh, Nicaragua and Gracias a Dios. But for us, it would be good news. Look at this. It's only saying in two, like two inches of rain uh, through Wednesday. I would not bet on that. Uh, the icon, even worse for us, it's giving us about six inches of rain through Wednesday. That would not be good for our roads, which are still... Uh, kind of wet from what we had to deal with last week. So let's talk about, this is the um, moisture content of the air. You can see it's thick and rich over us right now. Look at tonight and tomorrow morning. We get some of the yellows, which are a bit drier. That's why I think we might be a bit drier tonight and tomorrow morning. Uh, the GFS is trying to pull all the moisture in. You can see this as it forms this cyclone and then moves it off to the northeast. And look what's behind it. As we get towards the weekend, a clear cold front. Now, most of the time, cold fronts mean a lot of rain for us. Rarely, in North America, when you have a cold front, you have rain along the front, and then the front passes through. You have north winds, which are usually dry, and you have clear skies, and it's cooler behind. And in North America, of course, you can have a very cold day with the sun out. Almost never happens here. Uh, but this coming weekend, it's possible that this cold front will actually clear us, bring us cooler and a bit drier air. It's never very dry because we're right on the sea, um, but very comfortable temperatures with highs. And let's actually take a look at the, this is the wind chill. And of course, we never talk about wind chill in Roatan. But as we get towards the end of next week, we'll see some quite cold wind chills in the southeast of the United States. And as we look down here, now we start out in the dark browns, which is, you know, um, 90, even though it's not very, if the sun comes out, our heat index goes to 90, 95 real quick because we're so humid. Um, but as we go through the week and get into the weekend, you'll see the light oranges actually come over us. So we're talking heat indexes or heat indices, however you want to say it in the 70s with dry air. Can you believe it? That would feel so good. People will be putting on uh, their hoodies, but let's wait and watch. We were hopeful today and tomorrow that we'd have a little bit uh, better seas. Seems like we're at three feet this morning and it looks like three to four feet into the middle of next week. Now, as we get towards the end of next week, depending on what our tropical storm does and, and our cold front, that could really bring in some north winds and mean six foot seas on the north side as we get towards the end of next week. Um, okay, and one more thing I wanted to mention is about uh, the um, low tides. We've not had extreme low tides. We've actually had more extreme high tides recently, but we're starting to get back into a cycle where we're gonna have some real low tides um, towards 1.30 in the morning, almost to our uh, lowest low tide. So um, keep an eye on that. And then as we go, fortunately, our lowest low tides seem to be in the early morning hours. All right. Well, that's what I have to say. You guys stay safe this weekend and especially this early part of next week and keep in touch and keep 
uh, adding those weather stations. I love them so much.